Baby, just let me be and don't tell me Can't I trust me? I know there's more of you inside Just put me inside But you never show me I know you wanna make it right Oh yeah, to stay wild Yeah, I just need you to Good morning, guys What's up? It's your boy Kino Body And I'm back with another video And I hope that lighting above isn't too bad Um, that glare gets kind of crazy I actually was inquiring about changing these lights when we first moved in to get a more, to get like the LED lights. Cause this is like that yellow light tint thing that every apartment feels like they should put in when you move in. Like I feel like it's so dated. But anyway, um, I'm gonna make us, uh, maybe you want some bacon? Some turkey bacon? Yeah. I'm gonna make us some turkey bacon real quick. Oh my God, you guys, I have the worst organization skills in the world. The... Huh? You know? Yeah, I'm not really, like I'm not a big organizer. Um, and I say that because under this kitchen sink is where I keep the pots and pans. <laughs> it's not like an old person. It's where I keep the pots and the pans. And um... Come on, can you get out my butt? Smoke is apparently sniffing fits his butt. He's doing um, something. He's actually labeling Smoke's food um, food and water, like, ball situation. It's like, um, you guys have seen it. It's this, like, wood block with, like, the two things inside of it, and we can put his name on it, personalize it. We never did it before. We had the labels for it, but we just didn't get around to doing it. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. I'm gonna make some turkey bacon. Your name's on your bowl now. This is like the turkey bacon use. And it's three. I don't feel like that's expensive. I feel like that's a good price for turkey bacon, right? Three ninety nine, as opposed to like fucking seven ninety nine for regular bacon. And we normally don't oh, step back. We normally don't use regular bacon like eat regular bacon i should say um no need turkey bacon but if i'm ordering like a bacon egg and cheese from the store i'm never really too specific i'm just like oh let me just get a bacon egg and cheese nine times out of ten they're using like regular bacon which is pork bacon um but yeah i am in the process of editing we're not editing but i'm uploading a video to youtube now um which is the vlog that you guys Obviously, I've watched before this one. It's the BBL kind of montage situation. It's okay. It's that BBL um, sit down and chit chat video and, you know, showing you guys my results and stuff like that. And of course, it is my one year anniversary from my surgery. So, you know, it's important to keep you guys updated on that journey. Um, so, let me remind you guys, or let me give you guys an update. So the other day, well not the other day, but in the last video, I went to Starbucks and at the end of, when I was leaving Starbucks, um, I was saying that I didn't really like the energy that I was getting from the person that was taking my order and stuff. And I also, I wasn't filming, but I was inquiring about my points because my points, you know, when you go to Starbucks, you should use, you should accumulate points so that way you can get rewards um it just makes sense when you spend your money you get something back um which is why i love fresh rewards which is why i love the dunkin donuts app all the apps you know that allow you to get something in return for spending your money i think is a great idea so my points are very important to me needless to say so when we had this when we were having a conversation about me um cashing in my points and doing whatever whatever 
she kind of had like a weird energy and Fitz didn't, he said he didn't really notice her having a weird energy, but I guess it was because he wasn't really paying attention. I don't know, but she gave me a red vibe. And so I was like, hey, am I, did you scan my order? Cause I know how it works. Like they have to put the order in and right before you pay, they scan it. So that way it goes to your phone. But she's like, oh, because I scanned it previously to check your balance, it's already active. Didn't really make sense to me because that's never how it's been done before. Even when I inquired about my balance and previous at previous locations, they never did it like that. So I was like a little thrown off. <clears throat> so I left Starbucks and for the remainder of the evening, I was just kind of monitoring the app to see if my points would change, um, whatever. And it didn't. Um, it's the same that it was before I made my order. Not only that, but there isn't a receipt. Because normally they, there's a, whenever they scan it, the receipt from the transaction immediately goes to your history within the Starbucks app. So there, she never, she basically, it, it's almost as if it never happened, right? But I always get receipts everywhere I go and I always scan my receipts on the Fresh Rewards app. Even if I throw the receipt away afterwards, the receipt, the, the physical photo that I um, took is saved to the app. So that's my proof. Anyway. So because I knew she was being a weirdo, um, I was kind of annoyed. And then, um, is this pot hot enough yet? Okay, it's nice and warm. So I was a little annoyed. Um, and then, hold on a second, guys. Let me back this up a little. And then, um, yeah, I was annoyed by that. So when I got home and I noticed that my point never came through, I was like, babe, see? what I was talking about, and he was like, oh wow, that's crazy. So I ended up calling um, corporate because that's who I am. You're not going to make me feel any kind of way. If I'm spending my money, um, it's, it's one thing to have bad customer service, but it's another thing to deny the customer like the rewards that they deserve for, you know, for, for shopping and just being a valued customer. So it made me really mad so when I called, I obviously filed a complaint against the employee. And then in return, they gave me like a $10. Ooh, you guys can't even see me. In return, they gave me a $10 credit to my Starbucks account. But that's not enough for me. Like, I'm not happy with that. So I'm going over to the location because I really want my points. That's really what it's important to me. Um, and of course, yeah, I can buy a free drink with the $10. But I could get a free drink and also get my points. You know what I mean? Like, let's make it make sense. So, in a little while, I'm gonna go over there. And and this has happened at that location before. Not like bad customer service, but me not being able to get my points for my transaction for whatever reason. Um, and when I went, the whoever it was just gave me like a, like a, a gift card um, that I was able to redeem on the spot and just get my free drinks and also get my points. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get my points and I'm going to Grab another drink because I think yesterday's drink, yesterday's drink was that strawberry acai with lemonade and extra strawberries and it was so good. Um, so I'm gonna do that again today um, in a little while. But I wanted to make sure I got that video done. Wanted to make sure I figured out what I'm doing for dinner tonight, which I think I'm gonna do some steak tonight. Um, last night's dinner was chicken Alfredo stuffed shells. I'm gonna insert a photo here. And if you guys want to see the recipe and how I make everything, you can always follow me on Instagram, which is right here. <laughs> I love putting my hands in the air, apparently. Um, and yeah, it's been a road show day. It's only 1.12 now, and I can't drink coffee, so I'm kind of sad. I would have loved to have gotten up and make a nice, fresh cup of coffee. I haven't had coffee in almost like a week. Well, it's actually been a little more than a week since I had coffee. Um, so yeah, that's that. But I wanted to jump on here and update you guys on that process. So right now, but well, before I even turn this vent on because I get pretty loud, let me just wrap this up. So right now I'm just gonna wait for this bacon to be done. I'm on um, Amazon Vine right now um, doing some reviews, as, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Doing those and um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some more done as much as I can, as much as my patience allows, because 
there are a few different pages that I have to like run through and stuff so it becomes a little tedious and after a while I get a little over it um and yeah so I'm gonna chill do that a couple other things and then um before my knee starts to bother me I'm gonna try to make it to Starbucks which is only like two blocks away which is perfect um and yeah so I'll see you guys when I get outside <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm outside now. Well, I'm not outside, but I'm waiting for the elevator. Um, and I'm on my way to Starbucks now to try to handle what I was telling you guys about a little earlier. I'm about to put my headphones in and I need to charge these because it just popped up and it said it's on 3%, which sucks. But, and I also hate when this elevator shop like comes up to get me because I feel like it's a service elevator, so it's just like kind of looks a little spooky. But anyway, um, I'm on my way to Starbucks now, and I might vlog a little while I'm in there. I'm definitely gonna vlog after I leave to tell you guys what happened. And yeah, so I will see you guys in a second. I'm about to pop these bad boys, and you guys like my new pod case? It's like how high I got it on Amazon. If you guys want, I can link it in the description. Not in the description, but I could, because I hate doing stuff like that, but I could tell you guys where to get it <laughs> and how much it was. See you in a second. Oh, okay. So, hey, uh, hey guys. So, I just left Starbucks just now, and they made me another drink. Um, this one was free. Um, they said there isn't much. Well... Let me not say that because I um, did make a complaint online yesterday. They said they couldn't give me my points like in the store. I would have to like call um, this number on the receipt and explain to them what happened. And I'm going to do that um, to get my my points. So I'm going to do that when I get upstairs. Um, but they did. The guy, you know, issued an apology and he said that. Um, I'm sorry. There's like a group of kids walking by and everybody that. But the guy, he's, you know, he issued an apology and he said that um, it's just, he's like really shocked and blah, blah, blah. I, I spoke to like someone that's kind of the store manager, but the store manager wasn't necessarily here today. He's, I guess, like the assistant store manager, whatever. Um, but he did, you know, give me the drink. He made me my drink from yesterday for free. And I guess I'm happy with that. I just, I still want my points. So I'm going to call the number when I get upstairs and try to handle it and see what happens. Um... But other than that, I'm kind of just happy to have another drink. It's really good. It's kind of literally the same thing I got yesterday. Um, but yeah, on my way back home now. They probably could have made it a little sweeter, but I'm not even going to be mad about it. See you guys when I get upstairs. Why you always look at me? Some leftover tuna in the fridge too. That he, oh my gosh, I ain't gonna tell you what he did the other day. He pulled one of your numbers. What? He um put it in his oodles and oodles. Sure did, and it was so good. What the tuna Yes. I don't put it in my tuna. It's your brother. Oh. I put it in my tuna ramen. No, my it. um my chicken ramen. It does, and the way he did it, he made the noodles on the stove. So while they cooking on the stove and boiling, he's prepping a um a plate with his little sauces at the bottom of the plate and his hot sauce and his 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 seasonings and stuff. And my mustard. And his mustard, and then he mixes it around to make like a a, a <laughs> liquid for the noodles to be soaked in once they're done. Yes. Child, no, that's how he makes his I noodles. I make my noodles he like that every day. He since Christmas. Oh, wow. And what's even crazier, when he doesn't smoke, he's more hungry, where he just want to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's how it is. That's why, why you think I lost the weight? Because when I smoke, I'm 
smoke, I don't eat as much till I smoke. But when you're not smoking, now you got your appetite and you want to eat all the time. Child, I be waking up hungry. You hear me? Yeah. Ready to eat. So instead of the moments that he would use to roll up, he been eating. Good morning, guys. Ooh, it's cold as hell. It is so cold. We don't even sleep with the air on anymore. I don't even remember the last time we did it. I think maybe like a month ago was the last time. Sometime in December. It was like a week ago. You just had the air on. A week ago? Yeah. You remember when you plugged it in? A month ago, it was frozen because it was too cold outside. Oh, so yeah. It's been a little minute since we turned the air on. Fit to say it's been a week, but either way, it's just not needed anymore. Like, for real. Um, It's a new day, obviously. Last time I saw you guys, I think I was on the bed smoking hookah last night. We were on the phone with Fitz's mom, and she was, she was talking about something. I don't even remember, but it was really funny. Um, And so now... Sorry. So now I'm making some tukebiki in. This guy's on the floor over here. Where you at? There you are. Say hi, Smoke. Come on out. Hi. <laughs> smoke was just on the bed with us just now. So we just started letting Smoke get back on the bed very recently. Um. Cause he had an accident on the bed when we first got him and we thought i don't know who we thought we were we were like it's okay he can get on the bed it's fine and then he peed on the bed and we had to like change everything it was a whole thing and so we took a break from letting him get on the bed and we just recently probably like the last time he took a bath which was a couple days ago you guys saw that on the couple channel um He's peeing. That's good. Good boy. He done, you peeing on your pad? He's so big. It's so funny. But yeah. Ooh. I like this tripod, but I just hate that it like slowly moves. I have to figure out a way to tighten the back of it because I don't get why it keeps doing that. But yeah, guys. Today's a new day. Um... There's nothing really planned today. I think I'm going outside to get a COVID test sometime today. Um, I have to find like a van that's in this area that I can get a R, a C, what's it, what's it called? What? The COVID test that I need? A PCR. Oh, yeah, I have to find somewhere to get a, a PCR COVID test today. Um, I tried getting it, I tried scheduling one at CVS. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know, we just decided that it would, it just made more sense to just go to like a van. Um, so I'm, I have to do that today. I'm putting the bacon in the pot now. It should be warm enough. Oh. So yeah guys, I just made a video live on YouTube. So I hope you guys check that out. Um, I addressed my BBL round one journey, um, pros and cons, I think. Prices, it's like everything I feel like I would have said. Um, there isn't too much to like talk about if I don't specifically know what you guys wanna know. Like I'll just tell you guys what I think of, but like if you wanna know more things, you just have to ask me. Um, and I don't have an issue with being real and honest. I'll tell you guys whatever you wanna know, honestly. Like there isn't, like, I'm not that kind of YouTuber that's gonna, like, sugarcoat stuff or, like, try to keep secrets and all that. Like, I'm gonna... Yeah. My half thing. I'm gonna keep it very real. Every time. Um... Yeah, and I also posted a new reel on Instagram. Last night I made steak and spaghetti, which was so good. It was my first time making something like that. Um, and I didn't make, like, a meat sauce or anything like that. I just used, like, the gravy. I, add, I added some like pasta sauce to the actual steak gravy and I seasoned it obviously um, according to what I know Fitz and I would like. Um, and it turned out really well. So make sure you guys go check out, check me out on Instagram. 
Um, I literally just posted it today at like 11.30. And then my video went live at like noon. So I'm just, you know, monitoring the numbers and seeing how things are going. Um, I'm ordering groceries tonight. But like, because we're leaving to go to Miami in like a week or so, um, I don't want to order too many groceries and just, you know, because we'll be gone for like a week and a half. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait until we get back to do like a big grocery order and I just might order like a couple of things um, for like the moment. Um, typically I just need stuff to be able to cook, like meats and stuff to be able to cook every day. And then like we like to snack in between and then we need water and cranberry juice and stuff. So <sighs> yeah, I think I might just order a small little, little order from Amazon. We tried going to Stop and Shop, well we went to Stop and Shop the other day because I needed to grab stuff for the stuff shows that I made. And it was an absolute shit show, like, oh my God. For Stop and Shop to be such a massive grocery store, and it's not, when I say massive, yeah, it's like a big chain grocery store, like they're like a big company. But the size of this one is, it's huge. So for it to be, it's almost like the size of a Walmart. So like for it to be as big as it is, and they only have like three cash registers open, and there's at least 20 like different aisles for cash registers. There's at least 20 of them. So they only have three open. And then, um, self-checkout is like a mess because like everyone's just, I think self-checkout is ideally supposed to be like 10 items or less or something like that. But who gives a fuck when they're, you know, when the lines are as long as they are, everybody's just getting online to get the fuck out of the grocery store. So for the most part, everyone was just kind of like getting frustrated because, ooh, baby. <laughs> Someone left a comment on Instagram. Um, yeah, so for the most part, everyone's just trying to cash the groceries and get to where they have to go. Um, and I believe that that was Sunday. And Sunday is, you know, a big day for families. You know, people like doing Sunday dinners, Sunday, you know, sit downs or just whatever, hit reset, I don't know. People, kids are in school, people go to work. It's just like, what the hell? It's just so inconsiderate for such a huge grocery store to like not have like cashiers. It just, it makes no sense. And so the lines were going like so far back into the aisles. It was crazy. And everyone just had an attitude because they were like, what the fuck? Like no one's mad at, like no one was mad at each other. Everyone's just mad at the fact that like this huge grocery store is being ridiculous. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, so obviously I say that to say like the last thing we ever want to do is go back to a stop and shop on Sunday, a grocery shop on a Sunday. But like sometimes it's out of our control. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just need quick, like one or two, whatever little items that you don't have at home, whatever for whatever reason. And so you have to go to the grocery store. And like we have little grocery store, like little grocery markets, like in our area that sometimes will like suffice for not going to a stop and shop. You know what I mean? But where you can't, like I couldn't find stuff shelves at any of the little markets near my house. So that's why we went to Stop and Shop. And then when we got there, there were only two boxes of stuff shells left and I took one, so there was only one left. Like, so sometimes you're forced to go into like those like massive grocery stores, like a Publix or like a, I don't know, just like the really big ones. And um, it's, it becomes a lot, like it really does. I can see people getting into arguments really, really easily. I can see fights breaking out really easily just off of frustration. Like it's very inconsiderate for the customer to be like just jammed in these lines. And then on top of that, like you also have to consider social distancing and just like, just all these like things that like they, the management obviously does not care about because they're like, listen, we only are gonna have three catch registers open. Blah, 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 blah. It's just like, I don't know, it's crazy. Sorry to rant, but like it was, it's just stupid and it's annoying. Um, and then for someone like me with like the knee problem that I have, like I can't stand in lines for too long. It's just, it's all fucked up. It's, and they don't have like a handicap aisle. You know what I mean? Like, or register, like it's all just one. It's just, I don't know, it's crazy. It's very inconsiderate. It's very, very inconsiderate. Um, so anyway, we're getting prepared. We're slowly um, 
preparing for Miami. Um, there aren't, there isn't much more to do. I got my um, surgery clearance letter from Ivana. Like I gave them all my labs back, everything that they needed, my medical clearance from my doctor, everything is A1. So that's not an issue. Is today the 10th or the 11th? Okay. Um, so yeah, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about like so much stuff. I have literally so much going on. Um, but it's cool. I'm not like, I'm not stressed at the moment. <laughs> but there is a lot going on. Um, I'm like, let me turn this this heat down because I'm over here about to burn the bacon. Yesterday I made the turkey bacon and it was a little charred because I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to do too much at once. And I take like, for example, when I'm cooking and something, and that's, it's because I am a cook. But when I'm doing stuff like cooking and it, does, and it doesn't turn out the way that I want or something goes wrong, I take it really hard. That's probably one of the only things that really bother me in life. Um, like, honestly, like, I'm not, like, I'm not um, big on getting stressed out at all. But what I will say is things get to me very easily in the kitchen. Um, but anyway, I'm about to just finish this bacon up, chill for a little while. There isn't anything on the agenda, so I'll just keep you guys updated with my day as I go. And, yeah, see you guys in my next clip. What's up, guys? So I think the last time I seen you, I was in the kitchen making the bacon. And so now that it's a little later on in the day, well, it's actually not that much later on in the day. It's only like 2.30, 3 o'clock-ish. Um, I'm about to, well, Fitz and I are about to step outside real fast to go and get... Well, I'm gonna try to get my COVID test done today. Um, more than likely, I will be able to. I don't see any reason why I won't be. Um, there are a few places that have like the vans where I guess you like, you know, like the mobile vans that you just like walk up to and I guess you can get your testing done that way. Um, there's one that's not too far from where we live. So I'm going to try to get it done there. Um, Hold on, I'm looking for this hat. Oh, I see it. Um, so yeah, that's what's about to happen now. I actually need to put, um, I need to put something on my skin. My face looks super dry. And this is usually my issue in the winter time. Um, living in New York, I've always had this problem. My skin gets really dry in the winter. Oh, my hands like crooked, I think. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, my skin's usually dry in the winter time. I'm going to put some retinol on my skin now. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might want to pop into Starbucks and grab something decaf-ish. Um, I might do like a decaf latte or something like that. I've been having like a flavor, a coffee craving um, these last couple of days and I can't do caffeine. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try decaf for the first time today and see how I like it. I have, um, Starbucks had given me, so I think they gave me like $10 or something like that the other day for the inconvenience. And I also got a Starbucks card yesterday with like $5 on it. Um, so I'm going to try to hop in to the Starbucks that's not too hard from my house. The one that I had the um, the, the problem at. Um, I'm not going to not go there because I had an issue there. Um, I'm just not going to. I'm just going to be an adult. Like, whatever. Like, And if there's another issue, then I'm going to handle it again and again and again and again. And you're just going to keep giving me free shit. And that's just how that's going to work. But anyway, I'm trying decaf for the first time today. So if you guys are decaf drinkers for whatever reason, if it's just your preference or if it's health reasons, whatever, let me know in the comments. And let me know what kind of decaf you guys do. There are a lot of decaf teas. I think chamomile is a decaf tea. And there are some other flavors too. I'm not really feeling the tea vibe right now. I really want to drink some type of coffee. So I'm going to just get like a decaf caramel latte. Um, I might even do like a decaf caramel rub and crunch. Like that's a drink that we always get. I might get it, but just get it decaf. Um, 
yeah so that's what i'm thinking about doing right now uh and i'm only halfway dressed i only have on a hat shirt underwear and socks i don't have anything else on so i'm gonna finish getting dressed and i'll see you guys when i get outside <laughs> So you're gonna get the results um to 24. Guys, I'm back at Starbucks. Hello, what can I get for you? Hi. Um, thank you. I wanted to get a medium decaf caramel latte. You want a hot, um, right? Hot, please. Yeah. Anything else? Um, just extra caramel. Um, you want the syrup or the drizzle? The syrup. Okay, normally it comes to four pounds, so you want six? Eight? Eight. Eight? Eight. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I want it to be sweet, but not too sweet. Um, okay. And that's all. Thank you. No problem. Am I have a name? Um, so the is Okay guys, I'm back home now. As you saw in the last clip, I got the Starbucks, I got the COVID test and everything went very smoothly. The lady that did my test, um, she said, I'll get my results back in, I think 40, <laughs> 24 to 48 hours. I think that's what she said. Um, and you saw my coffee, right? Such a cute, I don't know why they're still using um, Christmas cups, but this is definitely a Christmas cup. Um, I don't mind it though, I think it looks really cute. And I also don't mind decaf either. Obviously, you don't get the same effects. I mean, that goes without being said, it's not caffeinated, it's decaf. You're not gonna get the energy rush, you're not gonna get the jitters, you're not gonna get the, the burst of energy, it's just not gonna happen. But if you just want a flavor, a coffee flavored drink without the caffeine, without the added caffeine, then this is a great idea. What happened, baby? What happened? Am I not? What happened? You okay? All Smoke wants to do is play all day. See, look. Oh, he wants. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, uh, this little face. And his face is wet because he just finished drinking some water. As soon as we came inside and I let him out his house, he ran over to his water bowl, but it, was, it wasn't it was empty, but it was like a little, little bit of water in there. So I was like, oh, let me fill you up. As soon as I filled them, as I was filling the water up, he was like trying to drink it. So that's how I know he was probably really, really thirsty. Um, which is crazy because like, he's out of his cage like 90% of the day unless he has an accident or a slip up and we have to like give him one put him on a timeout and that's usually only like 10-15 minutes so for the most part his water bowl or his food bowl is always full um so I don't get what he's when he has these like I feel like he's just a drama king like there's no reason why you're as thirsty as your <laughs> boy he says I'm poking shit stop I beat you up I beat you up Oh my god, smoke wanna fight. You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? <laughs> nah, why would he put the paw up? It's this paw for me, like he loves raising his paw. What happened? What you wanna do? What you gonna say? What you gonna do? Stooky! <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a hug? You wanna give me a hug? Hi. I want a hug from you. Oh, give me my hugs. Give me all the hugs and the loves from the smoke and love. I'm the smoke of love. Am I not? You okay? This is really all he wanted me to do was pick him up. Because every time I start filming and talking to you guys, Yo, the other day, there was something that happened, right? And I was really emotional about it. And um, Fitz was, like, giving me a hug to comfort me because I was, like, crying and stuff. And Smoke was barking at us because, <laughs> because we were hugging. And, not, and I guess he wasn't a part of it or he wasn't, like, included in the hug or whatever. But, like, he was... 
You think he he felt that I was sad? Yeah. Oh my baby. He said, "Papi, no, don't be sad, Daddy. It's okay." I uh, his little self. But yeah, Smoke is just we're just so blessed to have him. He's the most amazing puppy in the whole wide world. And I don't know what I would do without him. Look at him. Look at him trying to crawl on my neck with these claws that have never been trimmed. And um, trying to tear through my, my really, really soft skin. Why are you trying to tear through my skin? Huh? Why are you trying to hurt me? But anyway, guys. I'm about to love up on smoke for a little while. And just chill. Um, finish the rest of this coffee. So excited. I haven't had coffee in like... A week and change, so you know, I'm really excited. I might add a little more, look, look, yawning in my face. I might add a little more caramel drizzle to the coffee, um, because we have our like caramel in a cabinet, <sighs> which um, Fitz thinks is his personal caramel for every time he gets ice cream. <laughs> he always adds caramel to his um, what is it, cookie river crunch or something like? What is it? Caramel cookie. His caramel cookie crunch that um, his Talenti caramel cookie crunch. He always adds extra caramel to it. Caramel sauce. Um. Oh gosh, you better you better not start barking at me again. But anyway, guys. See, <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in a little while because I'm clearly getting bullied by a puppy right now. So I'll see y'all later. What's up guys? Today's a new day, obviously. Today is a much better day for my niece, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I woke up this morning and did, you know, my little one-twos, my little stretches or whatever, and God is good because I'm in a much better place today than I was last night, that's for sure. I haven't been vlogging that much because, as you guys know, when I'm not feeling the best, I just don't... Um, I just try to keep that part of my life separate from what I'm, you know, the, the positive stuff. So the fact that my knee's okay today, I figured I would jump on here and talk to you guys real quick. Uh, so Fitz and I, Fitz is in the bathroom getting dressed. So if you hear someone in the bathroom doing their ones and their twos, <laughs> that's him. Um, getting dressed because I have officially fallen in love with decaf coffee. And so I'm going back to Starbucks. We're going to, Fitz needs to get some more, um, some more bud because he's out of, and honestly, guys, run over to the couple channel and give him his props because Fitz has been doing a lot better with smoking. Um, he's at a place where I think he only smokes like twice a day now, right? Yeah. He only smokes twice a day, so that's really exciting. Um, and I see that as something that he's going to try to, like, keep, like, and play once I start smoking again in a couple of weeks. I'm definitely going to continue. I'm going to start smoking weed again, but I'm just not going to smoke as much as I used to. Um, what else? What else? What else? So we're running to Starbucks because I need a decaf. I haven't had any decaf right now. It is 3.48. Um, I think your mom's calling me. How did I know? Tell her I said hi. Um... So, yeah, we're going to run to Starbucks. Then I'm running to, then we're running to um, Dollar Tree because we need to grab toothpaste. We need to grab um, something else. I don't remember, but, oh, toilet paper. Just a couple of little, like, house things. Nothing crazy. And um, we're contemplating on if we're going to go to Target or not because we need to get some new tank tops and white t-shirts. But Target isn't necessarily close to us. It's kind of a little out of the way and I don't want to push my knee too far so we'll see how um, I'm feeling when we get outside um still no haircuts yet we're holding off until the week of us flying out which is in which is approaching really soon we should be getting out of here soon um and what else I don't know but I'm just happy that I'm feeling better today <laughs> thank you guys for all your kind words in my last video everyone that was just supporting me and just giving me words of encouragement and congratulations on my one year anniversary thank you so much I really appreciate that um tonight's dinner is going to be a little different than what I normally cook and I don't know see like I don't know if I'm gonna tell you guys about it right now or if I want you guys to go to Instagram to check it out um 
I don't know if I'm inserting a video. I'm probably not going to insert a video in this. I mean, a picture in this clip of what I'm cooking. I'm probably just going to do. I might do that in my next video. I, I typically do stuff like that where I'll like put it in my next video. So I might do that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. But either way, getting ready to go outside. Um, I just have on a sweater from Amazon that I love so much. It's my first time wearing it. I have on some cargos. Sorry. I have on some like minimal cargos. You guys can't really see, but when I get outside, sorry. When we get out, when I get outside, I'm gonna probably do. Um, I'm not even gonna do that. You guys will see my outfit in my thumbnail because I'm gonna take a picture in the mirror so you guys can see my full outfit. Um, real simple, real chill. Um, just gonna throw my easy boots on, jacket out the door. So I'll see you guys when I get outside. Let me take this fucking hat off. What's up, y'all? Oh my goodness, I just got finished cooking. <laughs> I just got finished cooking dinner and I'm very proud of myself, I'm very pleased. Um, I made a pineapple bowl with yellow rice, steak and chicken. Amazing. Um, here is the photo. I am posting that recipe on Instagram tomorrow. I'm currently filling the dishwasher up right now. My meat is screaming at me. I'm literally about to go jump in the bed um, and chill for a little while. <sighs> but I wanted to hop on here and close this video up for you guys tonight because this is going to be the end of this vlog. I was able to get my COVID test done and everything else that you guys saw in this vlog i'm not even about to sit here and run through the whole list again that's crazy but my bodies and my ken bots i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next vlog <laughs> good night guys